Okay, so this is a tutorial for setting up Tmux in order to easily navigate around the splits using Vim-like commands holding Control, H, J, K, or L. Uh, makes it pretty useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this the easy way by just copying over a Tmux configuration that I've already got and explain what it means. Okay, here we go. Now that we've cloned down the dot files, we can see by typing ls and then tab that inside is an init vim configuration, which includes a fair amount of plugins. I actually use NeoVim and a Tmux configuration. So um, let's go ahead and open up the Tmux configuration file here and talk about what this does. Um, basically, what you have here is a binding for the Control H um, key and J, K, and L as well. Essentially, um, what you want it to be doing here, or what it's doing here rather, is displaying a message saying which pane you're on and going to, and then it will also see that Vim is, uh, if you're within Vim, it will send the keys to Tmux in order to still work while well inside of Vim without, you know, uh, holding up the bindings. Additionally, uh, with the OR symbols here, if that doesn't work, it will just select the pane for the appropriate direction as per the bindings, HJKL with the control. Um, additionally, I do have um, key bindings in order to resize the panes a bit more easier using control S and then the uh, D-pad, um, as well as a special escape uh, option, which is in order to improve performance with NeoVim. It actually tells you about this during the check health uh, command, which you can run after installation. Uh, additionally, I set it to a screen 256 color so that uh, my terminal has all the pretty windows that I want. Uh, so we will quit out of here with control Q and copy the dot files tmux.com file into our current working directory directory, which is the home directory. Alternatively, you can add the tilde character and we want it to be a hidden configuration file. So we will rename it to tmux.conf. Um, now what this will do is enable us to start a new Tmux session. Well, we could already do that before, assuming it was installed. And using control B percent and control B uh, double quote, we can open up a couple terminal windows and now holding control and pressing K will allow you to jump. J will bring it back down and H will go left to right. This can work between any number of terminals as well. Um, yeah, so that's the basics of that right there. Um, now with Vim, uh, in order to make it work, I think that there's actually a, yeah. So to make it work right now, like you can't jump between uh, Vim terminals. Uh, and that has to do with the fact that we need to be running NeoVim to release the keys. Um, and we can do that easily with a plugin called Vim Tmux Navigator which we will set up shortly. Thank you. Bye.